once you have like, you know, a good, a good funnel down, which really consists of the landing page, the thank you page, and then, and then, and then you'll always have your thank you for scheduling page. But once you have those down, you can then always clone them and, and use them for the next project. That way you're not having to build stuff from scratch. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah, yeah the links that you sent, man, those uh, share links, uh, that helped out quite a bit. So, like, I implemented awesome, the – yeah, I, did, I implemented the seller guide one yesterday, so I kind of was just messing around with that. Awesome, dude. Um, so, yeah, those have been very helpful. Perfect, man. Perfect. So, which one are you are you working on now? Uh, the seller guide. The seller guide? Uh, yeah. So, like, I, pre I pretty much got the whole funnel set up, except when um, someone opts in, it sends them two emails. Okay. Yeah, let's so, fix that. Yeah, so um, where did I go to? And let me, let me tell you why it's sending out too. Because you have it set up under the forms. So under my forms, you have the welcome email um, um, set. So you're, you're sending out a welcome email. That's email number one. Yeah. And, then, and then you also have an email going out through the sequence, which is under my communications. So okay. the sequence is your handful of emails that are automated that also go out. So you want to choose which one do we want that first one going out from? Do we want that first one going out from my forms or do we want that first one going out in the sequence, which is in my communications? So, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's my forms is where I, cause once they, once they opt in, they get the thank you page. And then from the thank you page, I believe they're they already schedule a call. If anything. Yeah, yeah, they can schedule the call. So I think yeah. once they opt in, I just want them to get that one email with like yeah. the down, download my seller guide or whatever. Perfect. So let's do this then. That first email, it should be the welcome email in my forms. So that one, that the second one that we need to cancel out is under my communications. Okay. So go to my communications for this one. Yeah. So let's just double check my forms real okay. quick. Let's make sure that's the that's the actual one you want you want going out. So it would be um, seller guide. Yeah, seller guide funnel. Actually, change the word. You have seller, seller. You have two words. Uh, okay. Did you upload your seller guide to this already? So, yeah, I did, but I had to do it as an attachment in the email. I tried to do it as a link, like a, a PDF link through Google Drive. But then once they click on that link, like I sent it to my wife, and when she clicked on the link, it had she had to log in for it. So I was trying to do it so that it wasn't an attachment. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll fix it right now. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So click on save and next. Save and next. And then it's this welcome. So let's, let's look at this. So hit change on the welcome message. And let's make sure this is the one that you want going out. Yeah, so this is the one that I want going out. Perfect. Um, and then the attachments up here. So like I have the seller guide attached. Okay, yeah, dude. Let's 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 get rid of that. So let's um so go ahead and X out of that. Yeah, X that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the red, the red, yeah, that one. Okay. okay, perfect. So what I would do is I and it's up to you, but I would um you can either you can either hyperlink a word, like mm -hmm. here is your seller guide. Click here for instant access. So right. you can you can write that and then the and then the word is hyperlinked. So when they click on it, the PDF automatically downloads. Okay. Or we could add a button, and that that's kind of what I do a lot of times. Is I'll put click below, click the button below to instantly download your PDF or instantly download your seller guide. So you can add a button, or we can hyperlink a word. Which I thought about. Yeah, I thought about doing the button just because I thought it looked a little bit better. But yeah, dude. do you do you think that people get a little thrown off by like, oh, like I'm kind of weary about clicking a button that says download? No, do not at all. Not at all. Because they, first of all, they just opted in. So as long as you're, as long as you're, and that's why I truly believe everything starts on the front end. Mm -hmm. Like it, that post, that Facebook post, that ad, as long as I'm educating that person through that one post, that's where I'm really getting them. Gotcha. And then as they click through, they start to trust you even more. Okay. So, so if, if, if you're putting out a legit post, people are clicking on it. They're already, they're already halfway there. And then they put in their name and email. They're really there. So when they receive an email from you and it looks super legit, which I mean, yours does remax, like how in the hell are you going to question that? They'll click on it all day. Okay, cool. They'll click the button all day. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, not, I'll do that. You're, you're not a, a, a random marketer. Like I am. I'm the one that has to worry about stuff like that. Like I'm a random marketer. You're a freaking real estate professional. Like very few are going to question your credibility. Gotcha. You know? Okay. 
that's just that's my opinion but i i truly think that's 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 true so let's let's add a button for sure and you could change it up for sure as well dude but click on um let's just see what a button looks like click on um design templates and then scroll down and then just go to button yeah go to buttons and just um you can choose you can yeah you choose that one and just drag it over and then you can always change that color of the button as well okay change it to a different color and then um what we're gonna do is let's um yeah you could put so here here is your seller guide click oh, attachment right. below for instant access or click button below for instant access right so here i change that to button yeah the pink and then what i want the button to say um put you could put download here or download now or something like that download now download here click here to download um Perfect. Yeah, dude, that's super legit, bro. Like okay. no one's going to question that at all. And, and then, then, and then that word attachment put click button below for instant access. Awesome. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. Hover over, don't click, don't click, but hover over um, my memberships to the left. Right click and open it, open a new tab. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at that real quick and let's grab, click on files at the top. Okay. So this is where your PDF goes, bro. Uh, so, gotcha. so this is where, yeah. So click on the green one, upload. Now it sits on Kartra. Oh, and then maybe wow. create a file for it as well. Over that here. Category. Hit that. Yeah, hit that drop. Yeah, let's create a category. So manage my categories. And then just and just name it seller guide. Perfect. Okay, cool. Awesome. Upload file. Yeah, dude. So then now we just grab this PDF link. They click on that button and boom, they instantly download it. Okay. Uh, so it says it's on there now do i just go to next? yeah go to next next okay yeah and it'll just take like a few seconds to okay yeah there we go perfect we're good so now click on that that link uh the chain link. yeah right there yeah that, get url so this is your url right here if you just copy and paste that whole entire thing just double click it copy it open it in, in a new tab and that's your that's your whole pdf right there so they click on it and boom they're going to get it like this okay so now let's let's just add that link to the um to that button so hover over the button and then just add that url bam damn it's legit that's it dude that's super cool and then what you can also do did you save this template um i don't think i did yeah if, if anything i mean just to make it make things easier um go scroll down Let's do this. What I always do is I'll, I'll send test email so you can, you can easily send a test and see what it's like. And then, and then I just save as template. Um, and really why I save it is so I don't have to keep changing out that footer. All right. And keep adding the Facebook and LinkedIn. It's like, dude, I don't want to. Yeah, that. I've been having to do that. <laughs> yeah, right? So now yeah. you're going you're gonna to save as a template, dude, and just, and just keep using it over and over and over. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, hit save as template. Yeah, I did that. So oh, I think perfect. It so right be... there, my templates. So all you're going to do on the next email is just drag it over. Right here. That one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's that. And then hit save. And then save and next, save and next, save and next. Perfect. So that's the welcome email. Now let's cancel out the second email that is triggered to go out. Click on my communications. And by the way, did you get that email? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let me see. Uh, cartridge test click here to download yep perfect man awesome dude really cool so so okay so now as people opt in right as they opt in they're automatically on a list that's these are all the different lists okay and then you can click on leads and look at all your leads and then um tags tags you can you can you can definitely implement tags but that's something you'll learn later it's not really super super important right now but tags is just a way to segment it's a diff, it's it's a way to really search um 
like I can, I can tag anyone who opts into this form. I could tag them and I can, I can simply search by, by, by everyone under a specific tag and find them that way. So it's just a way to find your leads tagging or find what activities that person is doing within the system, whether they, whether they clicked on a link, whether they opted in, whether they opted out, like all these different things I can, I can categorize under tags, but that's something you'll, you'll work on in the future. You don't need to really focus on that right now, but, um, so like, for instance, for like these people right here, mm -hmm. like uh, one, two, three, four, like they came in, I'm guessing I'm, I'm only running one Facebook ad right now through mm -hmm. this funnel. Like, mm -hmm. so it's say I'm running multiple funnels. How would I know where they came from? You, you, um, well, what's saying that you're running multiple funnels? Where do you, where, what do you oh, mean? Oh, I'm, I'm not running multiple funnels right now. I'm just running one. So like, I know these are coming from my listing funnel. But like, let's say I was running um, the listing funnel, the seller guide funnel, and then like a buyer guide funnel. Yes. And like, right. so people are coming in, like, how would I know what list these are coming from? The, first of all, that, that that's kind of, that throws me off on how it says none, 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 none. It should show number like, one and it sh and you hover over it. Just like if you hover, hover over that one, it shows you which uh, sequence yeah. are on. But why okay. are they not on that list as well? So, so what we got to do is we got to go look at, and, and let's do this right now. Let's go look at um, that list or that form, excuse me, that form. So that okay. form that they're filling out. Okay. Which I believe. Open up that. This one here. So it, it's in this form. Anyone who fills out this form has to go onto a list. And this is where it, where it would say it. So save and next. Save and next. Save and next right here. Bam. So okay. hit the change next to subscribe to list, hit that change and then, and then put yes, subscribe to a list and then hit the drop down. There's the list right there. So we have, may not have done this obviously when we set up this form. Okay. So that's the list. Um, yeah. They go on that list, right? Yes. That's the list. Okay. So click on add and then save and then you don't need to do sequence right here. I'll show you where to, where I do sequences, which is under my communications. So okay. the sequence is the drip system. The sequence is email number two and on. Right. Those automated emails that are set to go out sequence. That's the drip system. That's the email autoresponder. Okay. So I don't set it up there. I set it up under my communications and I'll, I'll show you that. So hit save and next, save and next. Now go back to my communications to the left and then let's click on leads again. And if anything, we may have to, yeah, we, so, so go ahead and, and, um, check Mark are those four, those first four, are they for sure? They came in through that form. Yeah, they yeah. did because they're on that sequence. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's, let's check the box or check the bubble or whatever on those top four. So this won't happen again. Cause now we set it up in the form. So go ahead and hit that actions in the top, right? Uh, can I do this person too? As I, I know that they, they oh, yeah. probably came from that one. Yeah, I just for sure. Check see. which ones. Um, I think that one came from that one and that was it. Okay. Perfect. So hit the actions in the top right and then just put subscribe to list and then find that list. I'm glad we caught this now. Now when you have freaking a hundred leads you know, later. <laughs> yeah. Shit, this, this is so important. Okay, cool. So now that won't happen again. If anything, double check any other form you know from any other opt-in form and make sure uh -huh. that they're they're tied to a list as well so that that okay. right there all you do is hover over the number like under the list and it'll tell you what list they're on but right. you can also um 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 look up, up look up every list like hit the actually hit the uh, like get away from that one and hit the um hit the actions can you hit that drop down actions actually you can't hit the um yeah, actually, you could just go, everything will be under list. These are, this is leads just showing you every lead in the system. But if you go under list, that will just show you every list. And then if anything, you can hit the number, like the number oh, gotcha. eight, and it'll, it'll tell you all the people who are in that list. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So everything is list. And then, and then if anything, you can go into the details of it and you can click on their name. And then you can look at, you can even look at, you can look at obviously their profile right here. You can, you can um, look at the list communications. But what I look at a lot is the log because sometimes I'll get, I'll get messages and say, David, I didn't receive your email. 
And then mm. I'll look right here and it literally in real time, it tracks everything that happens. Uh, like gotcha. it tracks what every page they're on, every page they landed on, like the email was sent. It, it tracked that they opened it, like all that stuff, dude. Nice. Okay. So yeah, I can go back awesome, to this man. and be like, Hey John, what do you mean? You didn't get it. You freaking opened it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. This is awesome. Yeah, dude. So, um, that's really cool. That's where I normally look at everything is, is the log. Um, okay. and then, and then, so you have the list, you have all this, and then you have the sequences as well. That's, that's what's super important. So let's, um, cancel out that second email that's going to go out. So this tells you, this tells you which email they're about to receive. Uh, okay. So that, that right there. So that, that second email, that may be the one that we need to cancel out. Okay. Or that's, that's email number two. So they may have, yeah. So when they opted in, that's why you're questioning what you're questioning because when they opted in yesterday, for example, they probably got two emails. They got the welcome email and they got email number one. Now the sequence is about to send them email number two. Right. So we got to okay. cancel out that email number one. So okay. let's um, X out of this and then let's hover over um, communications at the top. You got um, communications right in the middle, like at the top to the right. Oh, right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And then, and then let me tell you about this real quick too, though. Sequences is, is the drip system, the email autoresponder. Those are all the ones that you'll preset. Those are, that's email number two and on. And, and, and you don't need to set up a whole bunch of, of emails in the sequence. It's all up to you. Like if it was a listing and they're opting in for a listing, I would set up maybe five emails, five emails in this, they get the welcome email and then they get five more. So a total of six, but those five are in the sequences. Open house, okay. maybe the same thing. A seller guide, I'd probably set up maybe 10 emails in the sequences. And, and in, those, in those 10 emails, I would simply touch on the seller guide. I'd bring up different parts of the seller guide in those 10 emails. And in each email, there's a call to action to get them to click your link to go to your calendar and schedule the time. Gotcha. So, so that's what I would do in the sequences for a seller guide, for example, I'd put a little bit more than five. I'd probably put 10 emails and just keep educating them on that seller guide, but that's sequences. Whether the sequence is over, let's say there's 10 of them in there, whether the sequence is over and they reach the end of it or whether they're in the middle of it, it does not matter. You can always come in and send a broadcast to anyone to anyone on any list, to anyone on any sequence, to any, any lead in the system, you can send a broadcast. A broadcast is just a one-off email. So then these, these times when you come across listings and, and you got a new listing on, on the market, boom, you come in here and you send out a broadcast. Does that make sense? Yeah, so the, the broadcast is just, I mean, it's just gonna be a, a one-time email, but it can go to anybody on any list. Yes. Is that what you're okay. Yes. Anyone on any list, anyone in the, in the system. Gotcha. But the broadcast is the one-off emails. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So, so click on sequences and then let's go and look at all the different sequences that you have set up. Okay. Perfect. So it's these two right here. Okay. So where the number 10 is at or, or the seller guy, which one are we working on or both of them? Uh, yeah, we can work on this one first. The, uh, the one where the 10 is. Okay. So, um, and, and also you can always pause it, which you don't really need to, but you can always pause it. You can always clone it. So for example, once you set up, like, let's say 10 emails, it becomes a template. Obviously for any other future projects, you got to go in there and edit the text. But as far mm -hmm. as the layout, as far as the template, it's already there. If I had 10 emails already there, I can easily come in here and clone it. I can hit that envelope looking button right there. You see that next to the pause sign, that's pause. And then to the right, that's clone. So if gotcha. I had 10 emails set up, I can clone it and duplicate it for a completely different project, but at least have the 10 emails already laid out. And all I got to do is go in there and edit. Right. Versus having to set it all up again, which I'm going to show you how right. to set it up. But that just saves you a ton of time by cloning yeah. these sequences. Absolutely. So let's click on the pencil and let's go into the, to the edit. So in going and hit edit in, in my forms, I don't know if you remember, but as we were going through it, we added, yeah, you can just go through this part. We added the list 
so we had to update that, right? We, we added the list and then, mm -hmm. and then right below that, it gave us the option to add them to a sequence. Yeah. So again, I don't do it from there. I do it from, I do it from here. So this is email number two and on. Okay. And so what I, what I base it on is the starting rule. So rather than adding that sequence in my forms, I add them to a sequence based on the starting rule right here. So for example, that starting rule, click on that, that, that number one up there. The t yeah, click on that. Yeah, you can click right there. So this right here is a starting rule. This is telling the system, okay, anyone who fills out that form, make sure they get email number two and on. Make sure that they're in this sequence. That's gotcha. what this is. Okay. I can base that on a form. I can base it on a, on a tag. I can base it on, 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 any, on, a, on all those different options, but mainly it's going to be form for you. It'll be, it'll be anyone that's on a, anyone who opts into a form will also be on this sequence. Okay. okay. So that's the form right there. So let's hit save. And then here's why that person is getting two emails because right away that welcome email went out. And then immediately the, the moment, remember the starting rule is the form. So immediately when they fill out the form, they received email number one as well. Right. So we got to change that. Okay. So let's hit the three dots and you can just change that to. On this one here? Yeah. Hit the, edit. This one. Okay. Yeah. So you'll just go edit and then you can change the immediately at the very top, the delay. And actually, let me explain this part real quick. The delay is, is changing that immediate to a day later, to an hour later, to five hours later, to three days later. You can change the delay to whatever you want. In, my, in, in many cases, I'll just do one, one a day. Gotcha. So today they're getting the welcome email. Tomorrow, I'm gonna set this for one day. Tomorrow, they get email number two. Or in this case, it's email number one. I would just change that to email number two so it's not confusing. This one here? But yeah, I would just go maybe email number two because this is number two and on. So, the delay changes, I can, I can alter that however I want. I can edit that. And then the day and time, that's when the system would send it out. And so I leave that the same. I don't change that at all. Like I don't care to have the um, email only go, go out during business hours. What the system bases that one day on, that 24-hour period, what the system bases that on is the time that they actually opted in. So if they opted in at freaking midnight, a day later, they're going to get another email at midnight, right? which I don't care. I leave it that way because if you're, if you're opting at midnight, bro, I guess that's the time you operate. So shit, there's email number two. All right. It just makes sense. Right. So, so I leave the day and time. I, by default, I leave it like that. Um, the gateway, that is your email. So always make sure that that's the email that you have set up, which is, which, which it is perfect. And then the recipients, this right here is just telling the system, yes, Anyone who is subscribed to this list, because in the starting point, in the starting rules, we put the opt-in form. So the moment they come to your seller guide page, they opt in, they receive that first welcome email with the button to click their PDF. But sometimes, randomly, people will automatically unsubscribe. Right? Maybe they're just getting the damn download just to get it, but they don't want anything to do with you in the future. Right. That, that type of stuff happens. And so... In this case, the recipients, it's only going to send out that next email in this sequence if they're still subscribed. Right. Right. Okay. So I don't want, I don't want these emails going out to people who unsubscribed. So even though they fill out the opt-in form, we're double checking right here to make sure they're still subscribed. That's okay. what that is. That's what recipient is. And then split test, you can leave off and then email content is where you'll edit the email and then automation. You can just leave that. As for now. Okay. Yeah, so, so email content is where you open up and edit and go in and change out the email, which is, which is, which is this right here. Gotcha, okay. Okay, so, so now this can go out like a day later. Gotcha, yeah, so I think this is, so this would be email number two. So they received the welcome email immediately, and then email, this email template would be like send out the next day or something. Yes. Okay. And, and, here, and so here's what I wrote right there. So thank you so much for your interest. Click here to see more photos. So I would, I would hyperlink the click here and I'd, ha and I'd have it go maybe to my website or have it go to, I don't know, the MLS, wherever you have that link of all the details. Right. Right. So there's that one page that you have all the details of that property. I would hyperlink click here and that's where they go.
Okay. And then below, if you need more specific details about this property or would like to schedule a private showing today, click here to schedule. And then I would hyperlink that to go straight to your Kartra account or Kartra calendar, excuse me. Gotcha. Okay. So, so hi, let's hyperlink that click here to schedule. Hyper okay. that link, hyper that, hyperlink that real quick to your calendar. Not that one. Let's do the, let's uh, do the this click, here to click here to schedule. Yeah. Let's, let's hyperlink that to your, um, to the very right. Yeah, that one to your Kartra calendar. Do you have one set up yet? Um, I believe so. Go to your, it's actually, it'd be in your bookmarks. It's be yeah, I think you saved it in your bookmarks. Grab the URL from your, from your bookmark. Up here. Yeah, actually, I think you gotta open, open up a new tab. Yeah. And then I think you saved it in your, in other bookmarks. Is it right there in uh, other, is it? Um, Cause I know you saved it before. Yeah. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think it is on here, but are these all my books? Actually, yeah, click on that arrow. It's right. Schedule the caller tour. It's, it was oh, that sorry. one. Where'd it go? Schedule a call or tour down. You see the little Kartra icon. Oh, right here, yeah. Bam. So that right there is the link to your calendar. So grab that link. I think you got to grab everything other than the after what, what's after Remax. Grab everything. Yeah, take out that back part. Perfect. All that. That's your link right there. Mm, and then let's add that perfect right there bam and then okay and then and then and then put the cursor to the very very end to the right of the e right there right there put the cursor right there hit backspace and then spacebar bam nice okay Perfect. So then, you, and then you could just edit out that other information and then, um, but that's how I would have it set up and then okay. just, and then just have one go out every other day. And the whole purpose is to obviously give them a little bit more details on the property. In this case, a, a listing or give them a little bit more information on the seller guide that they just downloaded yesterday. Mm -hmm. But that click here to schedule that link is in every email, dude. Gotcha. Okay. And then I can just clone this email as like my template or it's already saved as a template over no, here. No, you can, you could do this one too. So you can change, you could, you could save every template. Okay. Save as template. And then those, those, what, but what I would do first Oops. though, is I would change out those, those social icons. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm going to change, I'll go in there and I'll edit it to like my own mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. just save it as a, as a template. So, yeah. um, and, and when you do make sure you delete the one that you just saved because you don't want to uh, confuse gotcha. yourself. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, so I'll delete the this one here. Yeah, so you can delete that, and then um, and then you'll just be able to go back into design templates right there, design templates, and then my my templates. So this when you is... update yours, just delete that one and then save yours. Gotcha. Okay. That way you're not confused, you know. Okay, cool. So then when I go to whatever, create three, four emails, my template will be here. I just drag it over, and then of course I'm just going to change out the content. That's it, dude. Yep. Cool, man. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. That's that. So let's, so go to the very top and always make sure that you um, hit the green one edit. Cause that, that's what saves it. I wish okay. it says saved, Save. but <laughs> yeah. it says edit. And then you just close out this and then that that's email number one. So that that's would be email number one two, here. I should say. Yeah. And then, and then you just do the same one for yeah. the, for the following. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. See, so this is where I would go in and create those templates or whatever. Yeah. And then gotcha. also at the very bottom, let, let's do this real quick. Score, mm -hmm. score to the very, or actually click to the very left, go to, um, look at complete the, the one at the very bottom, this. click and drag and put that below email number three. And this is just for like, for, for analytics purposes for reporting and looking at, looking at the numbers. So just, um, hit those three dots. So every time you drag over, you're, you'll drag over a complete and put it at the very bottom or you'll drag over a send email. And every time you do, yeah, try to park it right below and then hit the three, dot, the three dots and activate. So you'll do that on a complete and you'll do that on, an, on a send email. So drag that complete a little lower. Let me walk you through a, a, full, a full setup of one. Drag it a little lower. We're going to put an email. You can leave right there. That's perfect. Okay. Let's bring a real, so, so now that we have email number two, three, and four set up, let's, let's drag over the next one just so you can experience that. So click okay. send email to the very left top. Yeah. Click drag and park it right in between. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. So this is the beginning. 
So those other ones were already set up for you. All you do, all you had to do was hit the three dots, but now we're right. taking it from the beginning. So wait number of days, I'll put one. So click on that. And then you can, as I mentioned, you can go days, you can go hours. So in this case, it's one day and then just hit the green one next. And then again, I don't mess with this part next. Yeah. And then communication, I'll call this, what was this? This would be email uh, 2345, email number five. Three, I think it's four. We had two twos and one three. Yeah, so, so, four. so two, three, four, five. Five, okay. Yes, yeah, this would be email number five. Email number and you can name it whatever the hell you want. I'm just, I'm just putting number, I like, numbers. I like that. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, it's kind of easy. So hit next. And then the gateway will be, make sure that that's your email. Perfect. And then next. And then send if subscribed to the list. So hit that drop down, select, and then um, subscribe to list. And then I'll just choose that list. This one here. Gotcha. Perfect. And then hit add. And then split test and then hit next. You don't got to worry about split test. It's just single email. That's what you'll do. Single email. Okay. And then the content. So now actually, yeah, let's, we could test it right here now too. So click on advanced at the top, scroll that over, design templates, my, my templates, and just drag over your template. Nice. Bam. And then this, you got to put some kind of subject line for right now. And what I always do too, is I always use their name, dude. Like, Oh yeah. The dynamic variables, like I'll copy that name and, and then I'll just drag that over. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but I always, I always freaking call them by their name in their, in emails. It just sounds a little bit more personal, you know? Right. Yep. So that's that. Now let's hit the top um, next. And then we don't need automations right now. Create. So now we have this email. So now we're going to click the three, the three dots, activate it. And then we connect it. So not those ones, the, the ones below. Is it this one right? Yeah, that one. So activate. we activate it and then we drag from the half moon to the to the to the to the bottom one. You know that gray. So on email number three, email number three, the bottom of email number three, that little right. yeah, right there. Bam. Drag it down and connect it to the top of email number five. The the half moon. You take it to the gray. Bam, right there. And then what you can do, so what do we have here? We have um, how many do we have here? Uh, we got... One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's up to you how however many you want right here. You know, it's for listing, so it all it all depends on how many you want. But no matter how many, you'll either drag another email into the same thing, or if that's the end of it, then you just simply take the bottom half moon, the gray, and drag it to the complete. I gotcha. Okay. So let's drag it. And the reason why I put a complete is so I can look at the analytics and know where someone is at within that sequence. If, if these people already completed, and what I do a lot of times is that if they, if they reach email number five and they're at the end of my sequence, I'll end up putting in an automation. So right there to the left, I'll do an automation and I'll unsubscribe them from this list and put them on a different one. Yeah. Now that's future kind of ninja stuff, but right. you can leave it at like this for now, but, but automations at the end of a, a sequence, automations will, will, will come in handy as well. Like for example, this is, these are people who, who, who opted in for this specific listing excursion. Okay. <laughs> Email number five, they complete the, the sequence. I can set up an automation and, and I can, I can, I can, the automation will be, unsubscribe them from this list and add them to my leads for the month of May. And that could be a whole nother list. Okay. So I can really segment it as, as detailed as I, as I want and, and, and everything I could tell the automation to do all that unsubscribe them from this list, unsubscribe them from this sequence and put them on this new list. And like why it. would I even want them on this new list is so when I go and come out with the listing next month, I can email everyone on that list because I know that they already completed the sequence on this. And I know that they came in in the month of May from my Facebook advertising. And I know that it was a listing lead. So now I'm going to put them all in another bucket 
and maybe send a broadcast to them next month when I have another listing. Gotcha. So like, for instance, if they completed, let's say they've got through all five of my emails, mm -hmm. the automation will actually unsub will automatically unsubscribe them from this particular automate or list and then put them into a different drip campaign. If, 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 hell yeah. If you set it up that way. Okay. That's yeah, awesome. Dude. Yeah. And it just allows you to, to, to really look at list and be like, okay, damn, those people, cause, cause I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave these people in that list excursion when mm -hmm. it's already September. Right. Like, I guess I can, I guess I totally can, but at the same time, if they already finished the sequence, email number five, let's get them out of there and let's put them in a different list and let's categorize that list. And, and we, we can maybe name that list lead listing leads in May. And, and, and we know that all these people never purchased. They, they didn't buy that listing for sure. Or else they wouldn't be in this, in this lead list still. Right. And then, and then I can always market, remarket to that re email them in the future, uh, different listings. Right. Because I know that they're already done with email number five. I don't want to email them another listing if they're, st if they're barely on email number three and I'm still trying to pitch this listing on them. Right. Maybe you do. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe, hey, John, you know, I know you're on email number two, but hey, shit, take a look at this new <laughs> listing. Yeah. Maybe you could, right? You could. But to automate everything, like I don't want to lift a finger. Once I, when, once I run that Facebook ad, I want as much of this to be automated as possible. Right. So if I can segment it and put these people in different buckets to really allow me to look at the analytics and, and be able to determine what email to send when, like that, that can make it a lot easier as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I had a question to you. So like on this list here, it had my Chris Garcia at remax.net emails. You know attached. what I noticed that dude? It and then the, different, right? Yeah. The other one I had like Chris at CSG Realty. Can I change that? Yeah, to, for the sure. Chris dude. Garcia at Remax. For, for sure. Let's um hit that those three lines at the very very top. That little hamburger looking thing. Yeah, Just hit right. that. That aligns everything. Uh, now nice. you have everything in one order, Sweet. straight down. Okay, cool. Perfect. So now, so that's that. Let's um, so let's get out of this now. Hit the done and exit. And then you'll just do the same thing for the seller guide. And Just that's one. why, again, like you can easily clone the 9804. You got five of them set up. Uh, you can yeah. easily, easily clone that and, and name that seller guide leads. Gosh. So and, if I just hit this clone button, another one of these will appear and I could just rename it seller guide leads or whatever. Heck yeah, dude. Nice. Okay. Heck yeah. In fact, do it because you might as well. Because I mean, let's, let's, yeah, name it seller guide leads because you have the other one seller, seller guide leads. So seller guide leads. Yeah. Thank you for your interest in downloading or whatever, you know, whatever it's said. Thank you for, um, thank you for downloading my 2020 seller guide or whatever. Perfect. So now everything nice. is there and then you're going to go in there and edit those emails and then, and let's hit done and exit. Actually, you know what? Go back into it real quick. Go back into it because let's let's make sure we we get this part. We edit this part from the from the beginning. We cloned it, so that means we cloned everything. And the same thing works with the page. If you have a landing page, a thank you page, a calendar page, whatever, you clone the damn thing, and everything comes with it. The Facebook pixel, the social media image, everything. So in this case, with the sequence, we cloned it. Everything came with it, and even the starting rule. So let's change that start and rule before we forget. Cause I don't want people, you know, opting into the listing and they're now getting these other. Uh, gotcha. So this so will be, be this. seller guide funnel. Perfect. Okay. And then I can X out of that. Yeah. Perfect. That one. Perfect. Okay. Actually, I think you got to do it again. Uh, see that. Seller guide funnel add and then save. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And then done and exit. And then, and then also in those emails, you'll change the recipient because the recipient we have subscribed to that other list. So remember it's those little things that you, that you got to remember that come with the whole entire damn clone. And now you got to go in there and just simply edit. But gotcha. just the so fact you, that, you said the recipients on here. No, remember on the first one we have, um, watch, like, go back to the first one. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Yeah. So if you edit, that's the one we cloned. Uh -huh. So if you go into the edit and you look at each email, it's the recipient where we have set up subscribed to the list. 
Oh, so it would be those 10 people that those are the recipients that are on this list. Yeah. So as I clone it for a completely different sequence, make sure mm -hmm. you change those recipients. Gotcha. And where, where is that at? Is that just, no, you just go hit the three dots and just go in and, and change, change the recipient. Those three oh. dots next to each email. Oh, I gotcha. So here. Yeah. So hit okay. edit. Uh -huh. And so now on this, on the clone, right. it's those recipients. These. Yeah, that I would change. You would change that. Subscribe to the seller guide list. The seller guide list. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So make sure you, you don't forget that part. Okay. Okay. So now you can get rid of um, the seller seller guide leads. Actually, you know what? Don't get rid of it yet. Let's let's take no, those no. leads. Hit hit the number two. Are those tests? Yeah, those are tests. Okay. Yeah, you can delete that. Then you can delete the whole thing. Okay. So, again, in the seller guide leads. Everything is based on that starting rule. The starting rule was the fact that they opted into that form. Right. Okay. okay. So, so, so that's that. That's sequences. And what else? What else did you say? You said something else. Oh, I wanted to. Yeah, the email that I had. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Click on the profile picture in the top right, and then go to um, profile. Actually, no, my bad. Go to, um, actually, my, 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 my bad. Go to, go to um, my integrations on the left, on the bottom left. Yeah, my integrations. And we, we're going to change the Karcher mail. This one. Yeah, so yeah. I want it to match up to this. Like. Okay, so that's the one you do want. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So then all you got to do is just from those other ones were may have, or yeah, they had to have been set up before you set it here. Gotcha. So, okay. All you'd have to do is you'd have to go into those ones and, and manually change them. But from anything created from this point on, it will ha by default, yeah. it'll have that one. That one. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So just go Perfect. into each one. Watch. Let, let me show you. Click on my communications and just go into, go into sequences. Uh, yeah. Sequences. And then just open up, open up either one. And then the three dots, actually next to the email. Over here. Yeah, edit. And then right there, the, the, um, the gateway. Uh, this so one. yeah, so this was already set up before you changed it under my integrations. Gotcha, okay. So you have to just physically, yeah, manually change this one. Okay. And does that update all the other emails as well? No, that's what no. Sucks. Okay. It yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, good thing is I don't, yeah. I don't have too many set up yet. Yes, so thank God. Okay, so I can close this and that's a yeah. And then so I would just go and change the the rest. Yes, change the rest. Okay. Um. And so that would, I'd probably have to do that on the other. Well, this one's on here. Actually, oh, no. no. Yeah. Gotcha. And do I have to do that for my other list as well? You pro you probably do, but that's that's the last one. From this point on, everything will be under this new email. Gotcha. But okay. yeah, because you cloned it, right? Everything is uh, is identical. That's right. Okay. Cool, man. Well, I can I can finish this part at another time. <laughs> yeah, dude. All good. And so one, this is all the back end, dude. And you pretty much have it all down. You have the landing page. You have the thank you page. You have the calendar. You have the calendar confirmation page. You have your list, you have your email sequences. Now, dude, I'm telling you, all it comes down to is running weekly ads, man. And, and either we're going to have a, a listing to, to run an ad on that week or we're going to be promoting our seller guide. And so conversions is where you'll be in the ads manager, running, running Facebook conversion ads and just make sure that that thank you page is set up under a custom conversion. And that right there is all you need to be capturing leads every damn day. Gotcha. So like for this thank you page, I mean, cause like I use the one that I, the Facebook ad that I'm running right now, I just basically, you know, I ran it through everything that you told me to do mm -hmm. um, using this thank you page, which we set up together. Perfect. Um, now like for the seller guide one, I have this thank you page. So Perfect. whenever I put that into Facebook, you said it has to be under a custom conversion? 
Yeah, you got to set that one up. So those 10 leads or whatever it was, those came from Facebook ads? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh Awesome. So then, yeah, same thing with that seller guide. Thank you, guide. Thank you, Paige. That has to be set up as a custom conversion. Let's do that real quick. Okay. Damn, I put seller, seller in here. Seller guide. And then what you want to do also, just to kind of get in the good habit of it, is, is, is categorizing it. Because what I had it categorized under was shared funnel. That was the category that I had set on my end. And then when mm-hmm. I transfer it over to you and you import it, it's still in that same category. So just to kind of make it easier for you, maybe set up a category seller guide. Gotcha. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you where. But yeah, this page right here. So what we need to do is we need to put our we need to make sure that our Facebook pixel is on this page. And then we have to set up this page as a custom conversion. Gotcha. So let's click on settings in the top left. And then let's click on tracking code and scroll down. Yeah, we need our Facebook ad pixel on this. So let's go to okay. so yeah, open up your ads manager. Gotcha. Yeah, because that other ad I'm about to actually the excursion one I'm I'm about to take off because we ended up actually leasing it. Okay. Okay. So I just needed to do I needed to run another ad. Oh yeah, dude. Shut that one off as soon as possible. Okay. All right. It's under ads manager. Yeah, you can click on that drop down. You can go to um I think it's manage, manage ads, or you could just click on create and you can go to Uh, add. Gotcha. So what we'll do is a custom conversion. So the two things, so always remember this, the two things, or actually three things, the three things that you always have to make sure you, you have when it comes to the Facebook ads and even Instagram ads, same thing because everything's ran through the ads manager. So yeah, click right there. But the three things you gotta always have set up is your Facebook pixel that has to be on every page, every page. Thank you page, landing page, whatever, call it whatever page. It needs to be on every page, your pixel. And that's how you get to it. Settings and then, and then, tracking, and then tracking code. But that pixel is number one. And then number two, if you're trying to capture leads, then that thank you page needs to be set up as a custom conversion. That's number two. And then number three, you need to have set up a custom audience because we need to, we need to track and categorize everyone who's landing on that page. Okay. And that's your custom audience. So as people land on this thank you page, I'm going to have an audience set up where those are my leads. And so now those are my seller guide leads. And so now as I continue to run my seller guide ads, I'm going to exclude that group. Right. Okay. Because they already downloaded it. So I don't, they don't need to keep seeing my seller guide ads. Right. Okay. You know, so those three things, man, pixel custom conversion and custom audience. Okay. Okay. So right here, let's click on the three lines at the top and then go down to, um, Go down to events. Actually, let's do. Let, which one should we do for? Let's. We actually we got to grab the pixel. So go to. Um, go to events manager. Okay, cool. Now let's click on, first of all, is that the right um, number, the right account that we're in right there? I think it is. Damn, I forgot which one we were in, dude. Uh, I think it's this one. I wrote it down to you. Perfect. Yeah, this is the one. Bookmark this page, dude. This right here, and just bookmark it under under pixel. So yeah, just name it. Yeah, Facebook pixel, and and what you're gonna want to do is start creating like a folder for it as well, because now you just have everything in in, in quote unquote bookmarks, bookmarks bar or whatever. Right. 
start creating a, a create a folder and just park everything for your ads manager in that okay. folder. So this is important. We got to always be able to get to our pixel. So click on your name right there in, in blue, Chris Garcia's pixel. This one here. Yeah, click on that one. And then we're going to click on setup to the right. Install pixel. And then manually add pixel code to website. And then just hover over that, copy, bam. And then bring that over to the Karcher page. Okay, cool. And then what we're gonna do also is we're gonna go one more step, hit enter twice, and then go back to the ads manager. And then click on continue, the bottom right. And then click on manually add event code. And then we're going to hit the drop down to real estate. Yeah, go to real estate. And then let's, this is going to be, this is, this is our seller guide. So let's go down and let's just um, categorize it under lead. And then scroll down and then, and then um, actually go up a little bit. Shade that blue to gray. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Copy that. This one? Yeah, copy that. Okay. Perfect. And then just hit done at the bottom. Okay, cool. Now go back to Kartra and paste that one in right there. Perfect. Apply. Okay, cool. So now our pixel is there. Let's hit the green one at the top actions. Let's save progress and then publish live. And then what we need to do is we need to grab the link. So when you publish live, you'll always be able to grab the link. Okay. Perfect. So copy that and then just open that up in a page in a new tab. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now you can see if you hit that, the, the pixel helper up there in the top right, that blue one, hit that and it will show you that your pixel is on it. Page view, lead. And anyone that has the pixel helper on their computer, I mean, shit, the only person that would actually, the only type of people that will actually even have that there are marketers mm -hmm. and no one cares. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not private information. Like the average consumer, they don't have this pixel helper. They don't know, Oh, Chris is tracking me. They don't right. know that, like at all at all. Only markers know that, that pixel helper icon thing. Gotcha. So, um, so that's good. So now, now we're good. So now let's copy, double click the URL at the very top CGP at yeah, double click. We're going to grab everything after the forward slash. So everything after HTTPS, from the C and on, grab all that. Perfect, copy that. Now we gotta set up a custom audience and we need to set up a custom conversion. So let's go to the pixel, the ad manager, and then let's click on um, click on the, the three. So remember, Chris Garcia Realtor, we're under that. So let's click on the three lines. Yeah, click on that and then go down to, let's go scroll. Go, you can click on audiences right there at the top audiences yeah click on that one okay okay cool so these are the audiences that we had set up before perfect and then let's just hit the blue one create audience and here's another thing dude bookmark this page this name it custom audiences and let, let's even start a folder to hit that bookmark put choose another folder and 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 just um hit new folder let's start start dumping all these all these in a, in a new folder just put ads manager or whatever fb ads manager perfect so all of your shit goes in there custom audiences custom conversions your facebook pixel your dashboard your freaking um your your once you click the green button and you create that create page so everything goes in and starts to go in there okay so click on save. Um, let's hit the blue button and create audience. And then we're going to go custom audience. Okay, cool. And then we're going to go website. So again, as I mentioned before, video, this is how you'll also create audiences of people watching your videos. Okay. So you could have clicked video right there and then you could have created an audience of everyone who watched. <laughs> 
fifty percent of your three minute video. Dude, yeah, I know. I need to. I need to create a video, man. That, yeah. I need, I need to get that going. Yeah, it's that all good. Cool. <laughs> so all website visitors hit that drop down. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. And then go to people who visited specific web pages. Okay. And then just paste in that right there. And then let's name this um, seller guide leads. Okay, perfect. So this is, so create audience. That's our custom audience. So hit done. That right there is everyone who lands on that page. Now what we got to do is let's click on the, click on those dots right below the home. Yeah, click on, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah right there. And then let's go to events manager. Now we got to set up a custom conversion and it could be, we can name it the same thing. So click on custom conversions and then bookmark this page. Bam, it's already in there. Yeah, custom conversions, perfect. FB custom conversions, boom, right there. And then let's hit the blue button to the right, create custom conversions. And then let's um, give it a name and we'll put a seller guide. Let's, let, it's not seller guide leads, it's just, it's seller guide. Okay. So yeah, seller guide. And then, um, and then um, hit that, choose a standard event that select a category down hit that drop down and then go to scroll down and look for lead right there. Bam. And then just paste in that URL right there at the bottom, right there. Perfect. And then, um, and then you don't need any of that. So hit create. Perfect. And then hit done. And then what you're going to do now. So um, right at the very top overview seller guide, just hit that arrow and close that out. Not that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, close that out. Okay, so right now it shows no activity yet. Go to the tab that thank you pay, that thank you tab at the very top, your tab that you have open to the right, the thank you. Yeah, that one. Perfect. Refresh that page. And then go back to the custom conversions and uh, refresh that page. Bam active okay nice. okay so now we're legit bro now we have everything in order now if you hit the three lines at the top left let's click on and and i'm going to just show you an example you can run this ad later or whatever but hit ad manager so another page you want to bookmark is this dashboard you want to bookmark um this and then what i want you to do also actually see how it by default it brings you to the other account so hit that drop down Go back to the realtor one. Mm, I think this is it. Is that it? The Actually, number, Chris Garcia, like, realtor. Yeah. It, it is. It, I think it is that one. Yeah, it is that one. Because I'm, yeah, I'm running the ad on. Okay, like, perfect. The excursion one. I'm running it on this one. I don't know why the number is different though, but. Okay, so. Actually, it should be the same. Actually, hit the drop down. The numbers. Yeah. See, like the number didn't. Five six seven zero. I don't see the other number on here. I think the other one was like zero 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 two five five or something like that. No, I think it is five six seven zero. Click on click on the other one. Click on the one above it. Six one four. Click on that. Yeah, that's not it. This is like my hit one. that blue real quick. Make Just, sure yeah, hit the yeah, hit that, turn that to gray. And then hit the second tab, the ad sets, the middle tab. Yeah, right there. And click that. Click that and change that. Actually, that's great. Click third tab, ads for one campaign. Click that to gray. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, yeah, so it's the other account that you're, so bookmark that account. So Chris Garcia, um, this is where your ads are ran from. So hit the campaigns tab, hit that one. Yeah. And then just bookmark this page. So this is your dashboard. You can always look at everything right here, but I'm going to have you set up a, a I'm going to have you customize it just a, just a little bit. Um, Perfect. Hit done. Okay, cool. So this right here at the top is, is the columns. You have campaign name, you have delivery, bid strategy, budget, results, reach. You have all that stuff up at the top, but not all of it is even really necessary at all. Like there's, it's just too much data. Um, so what I end up doing is I hit right there where it says columns performance. Uh -huh. Yeah. Click that. 
and then you can kind of just customize it and only show what needs to be shown. So scroll to the very bottom and go to customize columns. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up, we're going to get rid of a few of them. So to the very right, let's X out, um, X out quality ranking, X out last significant edit, um, X out engagement rate ranking. That doesn't, I mean, you don't need that. Conversion rate ranking. The ranking doesn't even matter, dude. Amount spent, you could leave that end schedule, um, delivery frequency. You can maybe get rid of frequency. Um, I mean, landing page view, I guess you can leave that. I guess cost per result. Um, yeah, I guess you can leave the rest. And then to the very left, you see conversions and then you see custom conversions. Click on that. So this is going to show us there's that, that, that custom conversion here at the top leads 904, mm -hmm. but scroll up. You should, you should see the other one as well. Where's, um, actually go back down. I think you're up too high now. Go a little, little down, little right. Yeah, right. right there. So those are our two custom conversions. So I need those showing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you check the total. So seller guide and then leads 904, check perfect. And then to the very, very right, let's click on, on cost. No, no, no. In, in, in the actual seller guide, those boxes. Oh, right here. Yeah. Check cost on the seller guide and on the leads 904. And then, yeah, that's it. And then, and then, so what you're going to do is you're going to check that box to the bottom left, save as preset down low right there save and then you're going to name it so let's name this um let's name this my custom conversions so now by default you can always pull up this layout so click apply actually know what here's what i want you to do to the very right you see a list of everything uh -huh. look for yours scroll down yeah to the very right here. no to the very right right there so you're oh, right, right there, there. bam Move them to the top. So drag them, click, and drag them towards the top. Yeah, you okay. can leave it there. That's fine. Perfect. And then click. Yeah, it won't let me go past campaign name, but it's all good. You can leave it right there. That's fine. Okay. And apply. then, um, yeah, perfect. Apply. So now that right there becomes a template. So boom, look what shows right away. Cost per leads. Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah. So now I can see my cost per lead. I can see how many leads. And that's kind of the, the, the most important. I need to see how many leads came in and what was the damn cost per lead. Right. So I can see it right there. And then, and then now the columns, it's my custom conversions. Oh, right than, here. Yeah. Rather than what it said before. Gotcha. So you can always move that by default and you'll see it there. Okay. So now click create. This is how you'll go in and set up your next ad. Conversions, you'll always check that box for housing. Just hit start over. And then you'll hit that, that check that box. And then housing and then conversions. And then what we're looking for. And then and then scroll to the very bottom. And then you can, you can yeah, make sure that both of those are shaded gray. Okay. Always name the conversions, whatever name. You don't have to do it now. But gotcha. I leave the word conversions and then I just name it. Seller guide or whatever. And then hit continue. And then... Over here is where I would include custom audiences or exclude custom mm. audiences. Gotcha. So, so right there, check X out that, that leads 908 X that out because by default it brought you there, but sometimes it doesn't. So I just want you to see what it looks like when it doesn't, when it doesn't, it'll say missing conversion event. So all you're going to do is just, yeah, click in it and then scroll down and look for your custom conversion. So I wanted you to go this route because not it's not always there by default. Gotcha. And so are the green ones usually the custom conversion? Yeah, they're Is green. This what for I sure. And they're green because you refresh the pages. Uh, gotcha. Remember? So if you didn't refresh the page, it'd be red. Gotcha. It wouldn't show as active. Yeah. Gotcha. So, okay. so those are your. So you choose one at a time. So if we're going for leads on the listing, okay, cool. We're going with that custom conversion. If we're going with seller guide. And looking for leads for people to download that seller guide, we're going with, with that custom conversion. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's the custom conversion. So if you scroll down, 
right here, audiences. So custom audiences. So if I check, if I click that box, click, click inside, up, 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 right there. Click right there. So what I would do as you start to capture leads is I would, I would either target, here, here's another audience that you need to create that I don't think you did. You need to create a, a custom audience of everyone who lands on the landing page. Because everyone who lands on the landing page is not going to always opt in. Right. So I want to be able to retarget them with ad number two in the future. Right. So in this case, I would put landing page views. So I would create a custom audience and those would be, those would be seller guide. Yeah. You can't type it there. You got to create a custom oh, audience. Gotcha. So you go back to the custom audience and, and do one for the landing page of the seller guide. So remember everything after the HTTPS. So you would create a custom audience for that. And then I would, I would always retarget them. But then what I always do, so I click right there and I'll see seller guide web page views. That's what I would name it. Seller guide website views. And no, I wouldn't name it there. You got to create a custom audience. Where do you do that? As you go in oh. and, and go back to the custom audiences. But, but you could do that after right now. Let, gotcha. me, let me part, show you this part. So look, you click that box and you'll see a drop down of your custom audiences. But then this I one. can also exclude. So right below it, click out of that exclude what oh, i would right always here. do also is i would exclude yeah click on that and then click the box inside the box right there i would exclude seller guide leads mm, gotcha because those are the people that got past the the, the landing page they actually yeah, opted in gotcha. they actually opted in okay so they don't keep showing them their your next ads right right, right. So, so what you want to do is create a custom audience around everyone who lands on the landing page, mm -hmm. but does not land on the thank you page. Right. Okay. That makes sense. In fact, do that real quick right now. Do that real quick right now. Hit the three lines at the top left. Go to um, audiences. And yeah, leave this page. And then, and then go to, um, Go to go back to Kartra. Let's open up Kartra. Let's let's make sure we get the other one. Yeah. So close and then return a dashboard. The green box, the green button, return a dashboard. And then let's open up the um, or let's just get the link. I don't know oh. if I saved this. Actually, you did. You did. You did. You did. Okay. Yeah. Exit. Let's open up the link for the landing page. So where is the landing? It's that. Yeah, that one right there. So just hit the three dots and then click on get, get code or link. Yeah, just get that. And then get the page link and then copy everything except for the, yeah, everything after, yeah, just the C and on. So it's always just the C and on. Gotcha. So copy that. Let's uh, create a custom audience. So let's go back and let's uh, create audience, custom audience. And then um, website. And so now here's what we're going to do in this one. So hit the, the drop down all website visitors. No, that web, all website right there. Perfect. Hit that people who visited specific pages and just paste in that link right there. Now what we're going to also do is we're going to exclude people. So right there to the right, click on that exclude people. Yeah, exclude people. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down the all website visitors, go to specific people who visit specific. So we're including in this audience, everyone who lands on the landing page, but does not land on the thank you page. Gotcha. So go back to Kartra and grab the link for the landing page. Which is this one? No, the, no, the, the, the thank you page, the, th oh, the thank you page. Yeah, the thank you page, the thank you page. So get code or link and then just copy that one. So that becomes your custom audience. Those are people, that's an audience that you want to continue to retarget when you run these ads. So just go and paste that in right there. Yeah, paste it right there. So let's name this one at the very bottom. You're going to name it um, seller guide website views or whatever. Yeah. Seller guide website views. Okay. So, so 
again, as you continue to run this seller guide ad, always retarget these people. Gotcha. Because they got to your landing page, but they didn't opt in for whatever reason. Right. You know, so go to create audience. And that's it, man. That's it. Hit done. Mm -hmm. Now you got your audiences, you got your custom conversions and conversion ads are what you'll be running, man. So now it just comes down to getting creative on the ad part, you know, and, and, and running one consistently, dude, running one consistently. And, and, and that's why like, even at a small budget, five bucks a day, seven days a week, 35 bucks a week times four, you want to at least budget that. I say go a little higher. I say go 10 bucks a day, 70 bucks a week. But it just mm -hmm. depends on what your budget is. But at the same time, dude, I'm telling you, man, when you close escrows, bro, a percentage of that commission needs to go back into Facebook ads. Yeah, absolutely. Like you got yeah. to make it like your religion, dude. Just like you're like as if it was freaking taxes, as if, as if you were putting <laughs> away money for damn taxes. Like, shit, I got to put away money for this Facebook campaign because the way you're going to win is by running one every freaking day, dude. A week, a one, one a week, technically every day. Yeah. And you just freaking little elm, little elm before you know it, bro. A few ads later, if they're not seeing your, 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 um, your videos, then, then put out images of you, like your headshots, gotcha. like put out those dude, because that's branding as well. Mm -hmm. So if people keep seeing your damn picture in their newsfeed every freaking day, dude, you're going to build a brand, bro. Like you're yeah. going to people in that little elm area are going to know who the hell you are. Man. So that's what you want, dude. You want yeah. that branding effect. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, I mean, so yeah, just getting this up and running and trying to get ads going, man. So that's the goal. So let's do it, bro. So hit me up anytime. I have a call right now. Okay. But hit me up anytime, man. I'll be a message away and let's crush it, man. Okay. Sounds good, man. I appreciate All right, brother. it. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank See you, ya. man. Okay. Bye.